Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly show where Car and Driver editors, uh, staffers, contributors, and friends gather to look at cars on the internet based on a challenge. This week's challenge comes to us from a reader or a viewer who wanted to see two things. He wants a quick car, fast car, powerful car, but he also wants reliability. Um, we've done an episode in the past where we were just looking for speed and what we found was affordable but really unreliable cars. So this week we're looking for reliability and speed. We're joined by senior editor Joey Caparello, uh, freelancer and friend of the magazine Ben Stewart, who's on the show for the first time this week. Uh, of course, contributor John Perley Huffman and contributor Jonathan Ramsey round out the crew. Uh, Jonathan, just to mix it up, do you want to go first today? I do. But you you said you were going to address. Oh, I the, forgot to mention. Yes. Okay. So Corvette. Yes, Jonathan. <laughs> Corvette is obviously the answer to this task. Um, they're ridiculously quick. They're pretty affordable, and they're in general very reliable for how fast they are. Bye, Pearly. So. <laughs> So we decided we're not going to pick Corvette. It's obviously the answer. We've picked Corvette a lot, sort of like Miata is always the answer. Corvette's always the answer. So we've challenged ourselves to find other choices, but Corvette would be a great answer to this challenge. All right, Jonathan, we got now that. All right, and then just to make sure. What's that, Joey? Now let us, let, Corvette's the answer. Now let us prove why it's not. <laughs> and then, and just to make sure people know, I'm not the only person who's chosen Corvettes on this show. That's. That's for the audience, <laughs> just so they are aware. I've chosen a lot of them. I've chosen plenty. I love Corvettes. But the thing is, is that Jonathan, it's not because you pick Corvettes. You always pick the same Corvettes. It's always a C5. Oh my goodness, here we go. So I've, <laughs> I've, I made a protest vote this week and uh, it is, I was gonna go with the R32. Uh, I don't know why this is rolling, which car and driver loved uh, way back when as a return to form, but I decided instead I'd go with a GTI. And I was going to pick the Mark 7. And this guy, just because he doesn't like being a GTI anymore, <laughs> owner anymore, and he never wins races against anybody. <laughs> but instead, I went with the Mark 5, which is consistently chosen as one of the best GTI generations. Uh, and you can get them pretty cheap. And for uh, German cars, especially, they are pretty reliable. This is a relatively quick and relatively reliable is what I went with here. Um, How quick? They're not that quick. They're like six seconds or so to 60. Well, see, again, but it, I mean, a Miata is not that quick either, but the answer is always Miata. Like, I went this for is fun. An, it's also not that reliable. Well, the Miata, the Miata is it's not quick. I mean, I would pick the Miata if it was quick. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's, they are, I said, <laughs> relatively quick and relatively reliable, but a lot of fun because I felt like that's what you're really after with this uh, versus all out thrills. And this is, it's got um, high mileage, like only 200 horsepower, two liter turbo, uh, I think 130,000 miles, but the guy has all the records and the car is in excellent condition, six speed manual. Um, the, he is in Vancouver and he's got um, bu 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 I think it's like Va U.S. America, Vancouver, not Canada, right? Is it Washington or Canada? I think it's yeah. I think it's right by Portland, so you don't have to worry about. Oh, it. Yeah. By, 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 by Seattle, not by Portland. Yeah, I like Seattle. Okay, well, it's no, that's Portland, right there. there. Joey's right. Well, if it's Vancouver, then Portland is in Oregon, and it's in, uh, Vancouver is in Washington. Look at the map. But it's right across the river. No, <laughs> we're both right, actually. Over and over here, Burley. Portland, it's right across the Washington border. I can't see it. Let's let's talk about where exactly Vancouver is for the next 10 or 15 This is years. a geography show now. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to take the rest of your money and throw the aftermarket mods at this thing? Actually, I'm going to take the rest of my money, and while I'm in Vancouver, buy a Corvette. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Wow. Because that's the answer. <laughs> right oh, there. Dude, this is the most Jonathan thing ever. <laughs> I mean, thank you. I take that as a compliment. I know you mean it as pearly. Because you can have your GTI, you can have your fun, and you've got your C4 already set up to go speed. quick. Jonathan, I, I got your greatness on this one. This Jonathan, how do you want us to grade you? Do you want us to grade you on an average of these two cars or what? <laughs> I want you to grade me on the awesomeness of my inventiveness, my originality, and my 
my, my two pack, my GTI Corvette duo. Uh, the, the Corvette does, it, it's been tuned quite a bit. It was made for track days. So it has, it, a, 396, has a 396 in it. <laughs> That's a 396 stroker. Yeah. I mean, well, what's a 39? I mean, I know that you put, uh, I know if you put a 400 crank in the 350 block again, it was a 383. Was this like a 400 crank in a 350 block with like a overbore? They, these are all very good questions. I did not have time to research um, <laughs> when I <laughs> was trying to figure out what to do with the rest of my money. So I just know that's what the engine looks like. I have no idea what it's actually what, made of. What year? Oh, it's a 93. So yeah. it's a 396, Burley. I list. know, but they didn't make they didn't make three ninety six. So obviously, it's oh, I know. Yes, obviously. <laughs> but it's obviously <laughs> Danny's Craigslist. Dude, ex Carcraft staffer. I know this stuff. I know, but it's obviously very modified. Is is Jonathan's point? Oh God! Dude, oh. God wheels on. oh, Jonathan, you just lost points right there. You should. Look. Oh no! <laughs> Terrible. Look, you want speed and reliability? That that says fast. Right there, <laughs> diamond plate and wood rim steering wheel. So <laughs> <laughs> Awful. Um, that doesn't say that says I've screwed with this car heavily. Oh yeah, this is not going to be reliable. That's, well, remember, remember, this is a track car, and you're gonna pay, but you, you're gonna go faster. You know, Dom Toretto didn't worry about reliability when he was living life a quarter mile at a time. No, this is a this is a driveway <laughs> ornament. You just bought a driveway <laughs> ornament. It's never going anywhere. You can throw it back from the track with your GPI. It, 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 <laughs> boom. But I mean, it, no, it runs fine. The guy says it runs fine. Here, here's and the problem. Here's the problem, Jonathan. Here we go. You, don't, you can't tow this car with the GTI. Um, well, you don't, you don't need to. This car, this car runs fine. And as long as you go to the track when the police aren't on the road, you should be fine uh, getting around. So I figure with... <laughs> that's don't shake your head yet <laughs> don't shake your head that you need to let this simmer you need to let it simmer i don't know maybe, maybe you can make a clay maybe you can make a case in your closing arguments but uh i'm not <laughs> i'm not seeing a winner today so have a look at this gti though it's there it's we go pretty, it's a pretty car these that's, have sludge issues that two liter of this of this vintage has sludge issues too so but but we'll see choice. but that's the thing with that's the thing with vw's it depends on which one you get and as an order of you this guy has all the maintenance records for uh, his ownership, and you know, I'm not, I'm not afraid of miles and a and good price. Yeah. My, my problem with all these Volkswagens is my next door neighbor had a Jetta with a turbo engine in it, and every time it broke, and it broke frequently, you'd go to the VW dealer, and they'd say, "We have to order the parts." They never had the parts in stock. <laughs> so we have to order the parts, and just it became such a chore that he got rid of it. And it's just one of those things where, as much as I like these cars to drive, I think the GTI is a fantastic car to drive. I can never rely on it to be reliable. I own, Jonathan, I own this exact car with four doors. When it, and I bought it new, or leased it new. Or did I buy it? I think I leased it. And uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't anything that special. I mean, it was a nice car for 2008, but today I, I think it would just feel old and not wonderful. Oh man, I think you could have <laughs> a great time. I'll, I'll come to real though. Having said that, I love, I love I love the GTI plaid upholstery on every GTI. Oh, it looks so plaid good. sells it. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you, you, Joey. <laughs> Joey, it's your day when I come to your defense. Joey, how did you answer this question with a spare? I answered this question with an SUV, which sort of surprised even myself. But it's not just any SUV. It is the Infinity FX50. So this is the second generation of the FX. And I had kind of forgotten how legit these were at the time. Like it had a 390 horsepower, five liter V8, and it went zero to 60. And I think we tested it at five seconds flat, which like at the time was faster than a Cayenne turbo. So like I had kind of just categorized it as like, oh yeah, those infinities were pretty fast. But like among the, you know, in the context of performance SUVs in, in 2009, it was kind of state of the art. It's a pretty unstressed V8 too. It's just a big naturally aspirated. Yeah, it's just a five liter naturally aspirated. Um, I To back up the reliability standpoint, I found our long-term test where we put 40,000 miles on it and it performed well. Oh yeah. So, uh, I, I awesome like data there. 
And this one is a one owner car, which is always appealing. Very cool. Lots of service records too. It looks super it's clean. Good. The seats look like they're in good shape. It's got kind of a cheesy uh, entertainment system, but whatever. But well, it looks like factory. Like it doesn't look like anything aftermarket. Yeah, I think it's probably factory. How many miles are on it? It has, I think, around 100,000. And I mean, this was back when Infinity was making cars you actually thought about and wanted to drive. It had the miles somewhere. I can't remember. It's a bionic <laughs> cheetah. Yeah. Oh, one this, is like, this is second gen bionic cheetah. It's second gen bionic cheetah. <laughs> Just not very well, pretty. It's still desirable, though. Mm. Maybe, desirable. Maybe the, the yeah, same yeah. sort of person who would buy like a Durango SRT, whatever it is, would buy this sort of thing, I guess. Who would do that? I don't yeah. know. Some fool. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's just cool because it was kind of early in the performance SUV trend, and I just think it's like a forgotten gem. You know, you think of and the Cayenne and the Q7, but this was. This is more reliable than. Uh, a GTI? Oh yeah, I would bet on this being more reliable than a 15 year old GTI. Yeah. But I, I would think that when this one broke, it would be more catastrophically expensive. Thank you. Yeah. It's Japanese, it's, an, it's a Nissan. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't think anything's gonna break on this. I mean, the V8 isn't highly stressed, it's not turbocharged or anything. Well, what, what transmission does this thing use? Does it, they, this is pretty, yeah. Yeah. This is pretty and wait, is it? What's zero to 60 on this? Five. Five flat. That's pretty quick. Could you get them as just uh, rear drive with this I motor? I think that the fifties were all uh, all, all wheel drive. drive. The V six one maybe had a rear wheel drive version, but not not the V eight. So no smoky part. I think I think it's a good pick. I can't I can't argue with it as being a good creative pick. It's a good pick. You, you can't do burnouts. That's what Ben's worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Important. <laughs> It's it's a little little bit off. It's a little off. A little bit off the Caparella Normcore brand. Yeah, <laughs> Normcore though. It's pretty Normcore. It's slightly it's slightly off Normcore. It's like yeah. Normcore. This this isn't Normcore. But this isn't gonna really wood, raise any eyebrows. <laughs> exactly. You mean the headlights? No, the the wood inside. The wood inside. Oh, oh. rosewood. Are there any shots of the engine, Joey? Uh, let's see. Yeah, the interior still looks like a pretty modern so interior. Just multiple shots of the entertainment. And who takes, who plays Mega Mind <laughs> yeah, during a photo session? All the who does that? Had. The good thing is, I think that's the last DVD they bought when everybody realized everything goes onto a, uh, onto an iPad now. No, they, sent, they sent someone. They sent someone to the dollar bin at Walmart to find a DVD, and that's what they got <laughs> back. Yeah. It's got all the floor mats. I, I, I think it's in good condition. It looks terrific. Yeah, it's fine. It's 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 a good choice. How many miles are on this one? I think it's around 100, according to the car. Six. Yeah. Plus one, 106. Where seven. was it serviced, Joey? Let's see where it was serviced on that car. Serviced Southwest Infinity in Houston. Go later in its life. <laughs> Still Southwest Infinity in Houston. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, the person clearly spent money on it. They they was the only owner, and they had the service of the dealer. And they obviously didn't report the uh, flood. Like an ideal Carfax report. Thing, I think. <laughs> That's a pretty good Carfax, yeah. Just, just that Houston, you know, Houston always scares me because of the flood. I like that color too. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And it is fourteen thousand nine hundred eighty dollars, just twenty dollars under under budget. Mm. I think it's a lot of car for fifteen grand. So you go to Whataburger. Oh, Whataburger is the best. Yeah. So you go, you buy the car, and you are twenty bucks left over. You go to Whataburger. That's exactly what I would do. All right, Joey. Got a lot of water for twenty bucks. Now we'll move over to Ben. Let's just uh, see what Ben brought. Ben, you ready? Yeah. So I thought about um, doing something crazy like a Mercedes CL65, but then I realized it would be a big time bomb. So I settled on uh, something that I thought would be somewhat reliable, which is a uh, PPV Dodge Charger. This is. Uh, 2013 model. It's a rear drive one. Um, obviously, it's 5.7 liter Hemi with 370 horsepower and the five speed automatic. And of course, it's got those steel wheels. Uh, this one is pretty clean. It's in Montana. 
and has 94,500 miles on it, which is pretty low. Looks like nobody sat in that back seat ever. No, it looks perfect. Like almost like they swapped it out for the uh, plastic the, bucket. Put the body down. material for the uh, body fluid seat. Yeah, they have the those plastic those plastic inserts that replace. Yeah, exactly. Them. Yeah, 35, 35 bucks so you can get door handles for the back. <laughs> <laughs> and I know this because I called the uh, how the mileage might be low, but what about the idling hours? Yeah, it was probably idling oh, yeah. since it was new. Is this, is this a Montana Highway Patrol car, or was this with another, uh, do you know what agency this was with? Uh, well, I called the guy who's selling it, this guy, Nathan, a dealer. Uh, I know him, Nathan, yeah, he's a good guy. The one owner car guy? I've seen his videos on YouTube. Oh, you know this guy? I've seen his videos on YouTube. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he's an odd guy. He, well, I, I called him, and he seemed, uh, he seemed okay, but he said um, that this car was used as a city car for Missoula. And I don't know what that means, but I guess that means a lot of time idling. Oh, it looks uh, like it's got the 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 um the bumper bar, the bar and yeah. Uh, and that would that would be University of Montana duty. So uh drunk college kid calls and partying. <laughs> so that's that's why they swapped that back seat out. And when you <laughs> that's right. And when you pale so, so iron iron angles, that's you know how quick are these? Let's see how quick these are. So 13, uh, 13, eight and a quarter mile in that test. Which is pretty good. Good. And these things came with all the usual cop duty stuff, you know, suspension, oh, special gear, uh, 220 amp alternator, brakes, um, cop brakes. So I feel like it would be pretty durable. Uh, yeah, I would think so. This one, this one's rear drive. It's not all wheel drive, right? But it says That's the right. rear drive was pretty much identical. Yeah. So you can expect a low five to 60, which is pretty quick, 13, eight and a quarter at 103 for the- well, it, it has uh, the little button that it has on the, uh, you can manually shift it. It has a column shift, but it has a little button on the column shifter that lets you manually shift it. Yep. Yeah. They yeah, want on the, they, they want on the, the steering wheel? On the, no, on the shifter itself, there's like a little button on the shifter huh. that, lets you, that lets you shift it. It's like a tow haul yeah. almost. Yeah, except that you go through the gears. You actually go through the gears. So I have enough money left over, and uh, I'm not going to buy a Corvette. I was. <laughs> <laughs> but, you uh, make a mistake. I found this guy um, <laughs> called Das Llama on uh, YouTube, and uh, I think it's that other, yeah, that other video, Das Llama. So this guy uh, has a 2014 RT, and he procharged it and did a methanol injection and a bunch Perfect. of other things. A no, wait, what about, speed, what happened to reliability? Yeah, yeah, well, what about reliability? Here's the thing, if you notice the title of this video is one year and 15,000 miles later, and he's had no trouble with it. That's basically- well, I think it's always a good idea to put the air intake right over the headers. <laughs> <laughs> wait, can, we, can someone explain what pro-charging is? Pro-charging uh, is a brand name. Supercharger. A it's brand a brand of supercharger. Yeah, brand of supercharger. It's this belt driven supercharger, Joey. Yeah. Which plus what is it? Plus 160? So you've got like 500 horsepower? I mean, according to the tuner. It's, so it's probably yeah. really like 70 horsepower. According to the market, yeah. But so that's that's with a conservative it's, 7 PSI. It's very low PSI, yeah. And there's no mention of an email tune, so it's probably not making the full ones. <laughs> and that's exactly. Well, Plus, like, why waste your time? You may not have been tested with the actual heat sink in which the intake stands over. Oh, yeah. This is a <laughs> best case scenario, I would think. Yeah. Well, this yeah, guy, this yeah. guy uh, lives at 6,000 feet, and he said his best run was 12.4. So it's not. So, so wait a minute. Are we, are, we, are we judging the car with the Pro Charger or without the Pro Charger? Oh, that's a good point. I don't I know. Gotta, I got to calibrate my boat. You gotta consider the quickness versus reliability. Exactly. This is this is the thing is is that almost almost definitionally you have to kind of like knock points off for a Mopar as, on reliability. Sorry. Wait, you have yeah, to do I what? Mean, but the but the five seven's pretty reliable. That's a pretty reliable powertrain if you don't supercharge it. No, exactly. <laughs> At the risk of shooting myself in the foot, I did look up the reliability ratings of a 2013 Charger in Consumer Reports, and I decided not to share that particular. <laughs> <speech>. <laughs>
Okay, I just moved up a spot. <laughs> that is very honest, Ben. I appreciate your There's honor. more than this many re recalls on that particular car. <laughs> what's, what's interesting, though, is I just like looking in the background of this guy, what other cars this guy has. He has a Fox body Mustang convertible. He's got a, mm -hmm. he's got a, a Cadillac limousine. Yeah, rest assured, they're all one owner. He was also trying to sell cereal marshmallows and beagle puppies and yeah, there's he also was just, he, was out, he was just trying to sell some weird stuff. There's all the an old Firebird too. There's a you know there's a Celica convertible. <laughs> I just want to go to this guy's yard just to look at the cars. The mountains are pretty too. I want to know. <laughs> I, I feel like there's is it legal to sell just the marshmallows from cereal? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I maybe maybe not. I don't know. But why would you want to just buy the marshmallows? Yeah, that sounds <laughs> risky. Why they sell that at like grocery stores? That's well, no, that's like that's like a gateway drug. Then you're bringing stuff in from Peru three months later because <laughs> it's like Lucky Charms without the lucky part. Yeah, that like there's an official Lucky Charms brand thing where they just sell the marshmallows. Yeah, he was also yeah, selling cool. pocket beagles, which are apparently miniature beagles. I don't know. Yeah, Very so you can, there's such a thing as a smaller beagle than a beagle. I want the I want the Cadillac limousine. Uh, <laughs> there's a there's a there's a there's a Firebird in there too, an early '70s Firebird. Okay, Pearly. Now that you're good and excited, Pearly, it's your turn. <laughs> well, I've already been told that I can only share so much. <laughs> well, we don't want to see your shopping experience. Just show us what you brought. What I brought. Oh, ooh, yeah. What I brought is <laughs> two thousand. Here's the car. It's a 2012 Accord EXL. Very cool. Which is Wait a, a minute. What is this quick? Really quick. Five, 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 according, according to this incredible write-up. Well, that's a different generation. Wait a second. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. According, according, according to this write-up from the, 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 the esteemed automotive journalist, Tony Caroga. These are a 560060 car, which is pretty quick. 13, uh, it's what? It's 14 flat, 132 mile an hour, same mm. engine, same transmission. But that's a different generation. No, so it, he's right. So it's what? So what? what? <laughs> it's same engine and transmission. So. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Same. And it's I think they're body. And it's a total sleeper. It's a sleeper. Nobody knows how quick these things really are. That's and, not a sleeper. And they are, look, it's actually asleep right now. Pearly, yeah. take us through the pictures while you're talking. Okay, it's 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 it's, it's a sleeper. It's fast. It's incredibly reliable. How many miles are on this bad boy? This one has uh, ninety-two thousand. You always go too far. Ninety-two thousand. Ninety-two thousand, which is fine. And, and it's a manual. It's a manual. It's a six-speed manual. Okay. So you know, it's got a little wear here. It's got the leather seats because it's an EXL. There's your manual transmission because yeah. <laughs> it's probably due for a timing belt. These Honda V6s need their timing belts done. Yeah. yeah Any so record of the timing belt being done? That's not I don't, I don't see anything saying the timing belts being done, but you're right. At hundred grand you need to put a timing belt on it, which is a thousand dollar job. Yeah, it's like seven years in timing belt, exactly. Yeah. And um, you know it's it's a clean car and these are they're surprisingly fun to drive. They're not incredibly quick off of the uh, off the line, but they are pretty good from like the five to sixty. Yeah. They're quick off the line too. It's just there's a lot of wheel spin because you've got a lot of power going through the front. Yeah, line. it's a little hairy sometimes. Still front drive car, but having said that, I think it's a it's a pretty good car. Really, go back one. Go to that photo. Can you make that larger? Go one over. We got to know the tires. Yeah, I got to see what kind of tires are on. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I forgot we had to go into the fetish here. Uh, uh, cheap. Oh yeah, these crappy. are Dimax. Right, ra ra radar. The radars. <laughs> radar. I got money left over in the budget. So a, no, a no name. You've got budget for tires. Did you buy any tires? You need good tires for these because well, like you know, this is one of the things I have. It's like I have cheap tires on my truck because the guy sold it to me had, had cheap tires. I just can't throw the tires away. That's fine, but this has 278 horsepower going through the front wheels. Yeah, you need good tires. Tire. But these are the these. I guess the radar tires are the Gary Berghoff model. Go uh, back one, Pearly. Go back one. Yeah, I'm going back one. Let's see. Let's switch. You have to zoom out. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the, the, what's going on with the leather? It looks kind of like dried mm -hmm. out on the backrest. It, it looks, looks extra shiny. And that's yeah. Kind yeah. of crispy, shiny. What's what's up with that? I don't know. I think I it's just really it. shiny, and it's it's a bad photo quality that translated poorly. Yeah, but these I, are, see the, I see the alliance is back, Jonathan. 
<laughs> we got to stick together <laughs> now that now that the other alliance is weakened <laughs> from <laughs> my alliance might be your best really choice easy. ever Burley. what <laughs> no it's not my best choice ever the best choice ever remains that low mileage supra this is uh, yeah, pretty cool though good. this is a this Second is an interesting best. choice this is an interesting yeah. choice it's a good choice you know it's mm. it, you know, I, I, it's, I, I, it's so boring but they're surprising the tundra of this episode <laughs> but, yeah, thank you. It's well so said. boring. <laughs> Not a camera. I mean, how how much how much fun can you have going fast when you're asleep? And in a front, in a in an overpowered front drive car. <laughs> That's exactly. Which how fast can you get to the drive through Get your cheeseburger and get. Home. <laughs> no, these are these are fun though, Pearly. These are good cars. These are, these are really good cars. Are you sure you don't want to see the review for the one minute review from Car and Drive? No, I'm positive. See. If you win, how about this? If you win, we'll run a commercial. You don't want you don't want to see the super t the super tight. This is the oh, you know, this sedan, yeah. The sedan. Over. I love Joey in the back. Anyhow, Joey, throwing <laughs> throwing dollars at the accords. Well, I wish he strippers because he has a he has a I know he has a soft spot for that. Oh, oh God, I, I just want to make my case here. It's a Joey Dorm Core car. It's a test written by Tony Caroga. I'm the later one. You're only making the case to us. Make the case to the viewers. <laughs> Why? The viewers don't vote. You know? <laughs> exactly. He wants the cup. I want the cup. And, and the thing is, is, it's very appealing to somebody like, you know, a family man like Ben Stewart or me. And no, Jonathan. It's, cool. it's a cool choice. I like your choice. It's probably the worst body style, though, of Accord. Oh, come on. The black one or this red one? <laughs> Both. <laughs> oh, they're not, they're not pleasant to look at. Oh, they are very pleasant to look at. These are yeah. pleasant cars to look at. They're not, I mean, it's not a Corvette. It's not going to blow up. And when it comes to reliability, when it comes to reliability, this is the most reliable car we've had on, on today's show. That's true. Well, up, up until my car. We, I <laughs> well, I think we'll find out, Tony. Let's see what kind of garbage you can come up with. Let's, let's see third place. Hang on. I got to uh, I gotta pull my car up. Close that out. It's a Hyundai Tiburon, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, close that. Sorry. I, this before, Tony? I gotta find it. No, I mean I had Ben's. Uh -oh. up. I had uh -oh. Ben's up, which is what screwed me up. Good. Um, hang on. We can edit all this out. Probably. Good. <laughs> but but, Good. but we won't. <laughs> but we won't <laughs> because <laughs> the people need to know how the sausage is made. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Lexus IS 350, 306 horsepower. This one that I found is 46,351 miles, $14,000, so I'm under budget. It and this is, is reliable? Oh, yeah. It's, oh, a, yeah. it's a Lexus V6. It's a Camry engine. It's absolutely gorgeous. Whoa, whoa. Super clean. You and your gray interiors. Well, oh. you know, at least it has a dark carpet to contrast. It's not all, <laughs> all gray. It's not all, it's not pure cream of mushroom. But super clean. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a two owner car. So I've got two, only two owners, only two people have driven this thing. The Carfax is super clean and like Joey's car, only been serviced at the Lexus dealer, only been serviced at the brand dealer. Mm. It was born in uh, April of 06, so it might be a Taurus. <laughs> what? <God. laughs> it's not a Taurus, it's an IS350. It's got navigation, mm. it's got heated and cooled seats, automatic climate control, six speed automatic. What are the specs? Uh, 306 horsepower, zero to 60 in 5.1. How much? Same as land. 5.1 mm. seconds to 60. Did I predict that? I predicted it. How about that? I'm amazing. 12.8 to, uh, to 100, uh, 13.7 at 104. Absolutely spectacular car. Um, finished only second to the BMW 3 Series, which would not be as reliable nowadays. It wasn't reliable back then either. It was very reliable when they're in warranty. But yeah, here it is. A good generation. This is a terrific generation. It's before the spindle grill too, which I think I think this looks great. I think, I think if I had to have this or the Accord, there's no contest. I'm getting this. Yeah, yeah. you can really drive it, too. You can so be ben, this. Is this going to be your only appearance on the show? 
Here's the like fucking up to you. <laughs> Here's the Carfax. No accidents. Forty six thousand miles. So about half the mile, less than half the miles of Joey's car. It's in North Carolina. North Carolina, so not a salty state. All mm. Lexus dealer serviced. Look at that. Regularly at the Lexus dealer for service. Damn it! I hate this car. Up until the end of its life, too. Look, second. Look at this. Second owner took it to the Lexus dealer. Had the forty five thousand mile inspection and, and service done. 50,000 mile inspection and service done. All Lexus dealer. I would buy this car. And uh, with my budget, I would put some great um, Pilot Sport 4S's on it. So a brand new modern tire because th this one has, um, let me see if I can make this bigger. This one has, it's a good owner. So he's got Michelins on it or she's got Michelins on it, but uh, they're an all season Michelin, which is a great tire, but just not aggressive enough. It's not a dealer though, right? It's not a dealer. Um, I believe so. It's at a used car dealer, Pearly. It was 88 degrees out when they shot this. What's, so what's up with like, that on the tires? What's that? Uh, what's up with the... Oh, yeah. It's just I, think rain. I think it's just wet. It's just drove through a puddle. I think mm. that, that's probably oil and coolant. No. Because you know, these cars aren't that reliable. <laughs> it was just serviced at the Lexus dealer. Huh. <laughs> so it's got Pilot Sport AS3s. Which is a great tire, but I want a more aggressive tire. I don't want an all season since I live out. Wow, there. this is a listing for you. That listing was for you. <laughs> yeah, this is a great car. It checks all this the really good car. I have nothing to complain about. I think you got to get different wheels, though. You think these are eighteen? Yeah. I thought you were going to say he needed to get a pro charger. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know you can't get a supercharger for these. You can get the uh, TRD supercharger for this engine. There you go. Make it less um, reliable. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous car. Perfect a bit, addition. a bit bland, but it is, it is a very good car. Well, and we often bad. say shop the owner, and this is a great shop the owner. <laughs> Kuroga quoting Pearly. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I can take the good that he says. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that you can't take it; it's that you can recognize it. I can um, recognize it. All right, so now we've reached the um, the part of the show where we judge each other. Well, and, and I want to say, wait, before you vote on my GTI, I forgot to uh, I forgot to do my own pearly, and I just want to show this one one thing one, because for for a guy who said the GTI wasn't much, much, here is an article an written article by an esteemed by member an esteemed of member. the staff, and it trounces this Honda Civic. Because it was all that. This was Volkswagen. Our own words against them. No, yeah. I, no Jonathan, not, I owned it, Jonathan. I bought one of these cars. I love it. It's just not. No, no. It's not going to be that reliable. Thirteen years old with one hundred twenty some thousand miles. Oh my goodness! And see what you get is you're going to get comma people like I own one and I never had a problem with it. I never had a problem with it when I, when I owned it. I owned it for three years, never had a problem. I've had great luck with VWs, but 133,000 mile, 13 year old VW versus a 46,000 mile Lexus. <laughs> it's gonna be- you got a point. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, is to refer back to that test, if we can again, that was, uh, we came to the test of time element, which shows that the SI is now worth more than the GPI. Barely. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Barely. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan, <laughs> you went first. Um, GTI, how do you want us to judge? An average of your track car disaster? <laughs> why don't, or since, since we can't appreciate the C4s, uh, why don't we just take the GTI vote? And we'll go, we'll go with that. I don't, I don't trust its reliability. That's the problem. I'm give you a thumbs up just for the bait and switch. That was pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're like you. take a lot of thumbs up, Jonathan. I'll take that. <laughs> I, can't, I can't go thumbs down, but I can't go thumbs up because of reliability to me is so exactly. Cool. I love I the can car. accept all that. It's not that quick either. They're only like low sixes to sixty. All right, Jonathan, what was your favorite uh, car? The um, I think uh, look, the IS was a fantastic choice, uh, but I I really think old Ben Stewart brought the spirit of Casey Caldwell surprising me with the uh, five seven and I gotta go with, yeah, the Dodge. That yeah. was uh, a very good selection. Even, even though it's gonna smell like Cuervo and college body fluids, I think it, it, uh, 
it'll be a, a very cool thing be, well, before the pro charger before the pro charger i think that's pearly's cologne is uh <laughs> <that color laughs> mixture <laughs> ben you might win rookie of the year that's a, no but ben, <laughs> never got any votes. i just want to re just remember that the reliability portion is in play here and then ben, I agree, really, absolutely let's not forget it, reliability but john you know we can't i can't tell jonathan what to do yes you can <laughs> tell me what to do all the time don't tell me you can't tell jonathan what to do. well that's because we don't want the show to be six hours long <laughs> we all have stuff to do besides this <laughs> okay. all right all right joey uh you're up next fx 50 s thumbs up all wheel drive performance suv yeah Great choice. And Even though I prefer the, the I prefer the first generation before because what Zach had Zach liked the second generation cars too. I prefer the first before they went curvy, but it's still yeah, it was still I, a I hot think car. The styling of the first gen is cooler. Zach, but, but Zach, the V eight is bigger and more powerful. Than the yeah, it's right. more powerful in the later on. But they that's a great choice. You had the quickest car too, Joey. They went, they went from yeah. four five to five liter, right? They went from a, the first one had a four point five and the second one had a five liter. Yeah, that's right. It's basically. Right, Basically the same answer they use in the uh, Q50 or the Q45. Yeah, I think so. Q45 was dead by then. It was in the. Um, but the engines. The the, the the four or five was in the Q45. The five. Right, but I mean the same same engine family. Same. Yeah, bigger, yeah. Bigger yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually okay. I'm kind of torn this week. I do like the Accord Coupe. But I'm gonna go with the IS350. It's just, <laughs> I mean, the condition that car is in is pretty uh, spectacular. And it's only a tenth of a second slower than your V8. Yep. Half the miles. It's a wonderful car. Technically, right. if I was presenting, because I presented the long-term car, the long-term FX50 was 5.1 seconds, and there was a short-term test. It was 5.0. So I'll win on the you can, pick the you can pick the quickest. I'll let you all. Oh, yeah, the quickest, quickest <laughs> round of the FX15. <laughs> of course, this is when the car was new. We don't know what it does now. Well, that's true. But that's true. My, car, is like yeah. new. My car only has 46,000 miles. It's going to do it. It's probably going to be quicker. It's broken in. Stop. All right, fans. Stop. <laughs> PPV. Always, always be selling. PPV PPV charger. Come on. What? What? I'm gonna go yeah, down. I saw an admission. Oh. Jonathan, you're forgetting reliability. Oh yeah, my god. That consumer reports anecdote was damning. Uh I got crushed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, Ben. I'm with ben, you. Ben, ben, what's your daily your daily driver? What engine is in that daily driver? A 6.4 liter version of the engine that's in this PPV charger. So it's leased. <laughs> it is leased. <laughs> <laughs> Any reliability issues with your car? None, but None. you know, because of uh, press cars and other things, uh, it doesn't have a lot of miles on it. So maybe if, well, if, you buy, if you buy that cop car, you can get some pocket beagles and uh, <laughs> you know, marshmallows too. and marshmallows. <laughs> I actually do like the idea of supercharging something like that for that amount of money. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, stick a hole in the hood and stick the air intake up through the hole in the hood so it's not just breathing in all that hot steamy mess that it's taking in there. And the police package makes it even more appealing with the steel wheels and the look of the yeah. and the and the lights and charger for sure. All right, Ben, what, what what's your favorite car? What are you buying? You know, I might have to go with your car, the IS. <laughs> I mean it's low miles. It's super reliable. It's fast. I don't need to supercharge it, um, <laughs> but I would add different like burnouts, wheels. Burnouts, burnouts. Yeah, you could do burnouts in it. Um, yeah, it's a great. That's a good pick. I could win without KC. <laughs> oh, there we go. I might need to change my vote, Pearly. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, uh, Pearly. Pearly, you're up next. The Cord V6 manual coupe. Thumbs up. Good choice. Oh, Ben. Ouch. <laughs> oh, God. No, why, why two thumbs down, Ben? Uh, one for the outside of the car and one for the inside of the car. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> and I What's can't blame him. I can't ben, blame him. Ben, how long have we been friends? <laughs> long, long. <laughs> <laughs> Too long? Too long. <laughs> Jonathan, what's your beef with the? Accord? I don't. I don't get. I don't get to pick. I don't get. 
Hey, we're still talking about your car. Relax. Uh, okay. Jonathan. I'm down. I'm all right. Whatever. Jonathan, <laughs> what, what's your beef with the Accord? It's, I mean, it's instantly forgettable is the problem. Like why, who, who says I want fast reliability and then says I want a front wheel drive Accord with a lot of power being sent to the, to the front wheels. Like no it one says manual, that. Though. It is a manual. Those it's manual a coupes manual. are pretty fun. Look, a lot, of, a lot of cars are manuals that I wouldn't think of when, you know, a, what a, a Daihatsu Copen is a manual. But I wouldn't want one when I say fast and reliable. <laughs> because That's not fast. I mean, his car is faster than your car. But it's not nearly as much fun. And, like, and so I think also for fast, are we just talking about straight line speed? Because I think of fast as more than just getting from stoplight to stoplight. No, it's handling and everything. You're right. Yeah, like I want to have fun with the fast. And I'm not going to have fun in that accord. You know, front drive Hondas are actually fun to drive. I don't know why. <laughs> The, you know, they get these. Uh, they have the. I don't think the reputation is the service. Say they're no fun. They're actually fun. I'm not. I'm not saying it's not fun at all. It's just. It's just a, like in a a fun contest. Even among the cars we have, I would take any other car. I would take any other car on the list, uh, including my C4, before I would take before I would take that Accord. You know, John, I really feel like John, you're Pearly, Pearly, send him my review, and you you might convince him otherwise. Yeah, but I really, <laughs> Jonathan, I really feel like our relationship is fraying. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'll call. I'll call you after the show, Pearly. Let's let's talk through this. <laughs> I've noticed that Jonathan is losing his patience with you, Pearly. <laughs> no, that's not true. Don't believe him, Pearly. Okay. Nothing will come between us. I promise. All right, Pearly. Now comes the time where you get to vote for my car. What do you think? <laughs> You know, <laughs> I think Joey's car is interesting, uh, unique, a good find, and that's why I'm going with the IS 350. <laughs> so, uh, yes. you know, as, as much as I hate to do, because I know that Tony really just wants me to shut up and get off the show. No way, man. I love you. I just don't want the show to go six hours. <laughs> But I think it, I think it's you know the thing is is it, it continues Tony's cream of mushroom theme, where every car is gray with gray interior, and I think that you know there's something to be said for Campbell's cream of mushroom too, which is <laughs> so useful in so many recipes. Well, apparently so, people who buy gray on gray cars treat them very very well, so there's something to it. And you're gonna rag on somebody for picking the exact same vehicle over and over and over again. <laughs> I mean, because me, me, me. <laughs> I'm on my third tundra. God, I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, IS 350, 46,000 miles, zero to 60 and five one. Lexus reputation for reliability. Jonathan, really? Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I, mean, say, I don't, I, I don't want to. I don't want to. But, it, but you, that aced everything. I'll give it it's to a you. Good aced car. everything. Ben, what did you think of the IS? Did you give it a thumbs up or thumbs down? I did. Yeah, that was my oh, favorite. And my favorite. God, remember that review of the Accord you wrote? <laughs> it's between the Accord and the, I'm valuing reliability. It's between the Accord and the Infinity. Nissan versus Honda. Yeah. <laughs> kind of makes the choice. Oh, fun. I think I'm going to go with the, with the car. I'll go with the Accord. I'll go Thank with the Accord, Charlie. I'll hook you up with a vote. Thank you very much. So I get one not, not quite a he's, pity vote. In the you see how charitable he's feeling today? <laughs> now that now that he won without his his <laughs> empire alliance. <laughs> can, I, can I just note that shame when it comes to he's, he's going to start sparing lives? <laughs> What's that? What's that, Pearly? What did you say? I have no shame. I will accept pity. Pity is fine with me. Yeah, I, I like your car, and I think if I had to be, if I was forced into the decision, I'd go manual car versus automatic SUV. I can't and, fault that. I can't yeah, fault that. Yeah, and you know, and I think uh, you've driven these things. And they're good cars. They're terrific. They're really fun. They're really. And, fun. How, and how many times has it been on ten best? Eight hundred times. <laughs> Over thirty. Over thirty. Eight hundred one. Eight hundred and one times. It's just been the most. The 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 cord is so taken for granted, but it's so good. It is good. And I you know, voted for you. I voted for you. <laughs> you don't have to make a case. I'm just saying all this talk. It's you the, the, episode, the episode is over. You can stop. He's like, the, 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 the witness, will the witness please step down? Will the witness please stop talking and step down? Please. 
But Tony, it's a manual. It's a manual. <laughs> you wrote the story. You wrote the story. <laughs> <laughs> all right well that brings us to the end of this episode um i hope you enjoyed it if you guys this is a great uh, viewer suggestion please keep sending the suggestions and we'll uh we'll try to execute them as possible are we gonna get to do the one where we get to pick the car that jonathan buys oh yeah we got to do that i forgot yeah, buy one from this episode we'll do that next week you should buy that lexus yeah <laughs> let's do it next week jonathan all right uh thanks for joining us ben uh you i think you get rookie of the year i don't think any rookies ever gotten a vote for a car so that's pretty good no, that's not true. Dave didn't Dave uh, Dave Vanderwerf got one for his uh, Z28. Oh, yeah. Uh, but he's not really a rookie. He'd been on before, just not with you. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> okay. That brings us to the end of this episode. Right. Uh, please hit the like button and uh, feel free to subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. fast. There's scary fast. Then there's remember this moment as long as you live fast. The all new 306 horsepower Lexus IS 350. Pursue the moment.